We're now at the saluting days at Kartavya Path, where we await the arrival of the Prime Minister. The first glimpse of Rashtrapati Bhavan, and you can see the presidents of India and France, Srimati Draupadi Murmu and His Excellency Emmanuel Macron, as they emerge from the Grand Darbar Hall, bedecked with the shining chandelier and velvet tapestry. Both of them being escorted by the Military Secretary, Major General Ranjit Singh Manral, and the Deputy Military Secretary, Group Captain Abhay Fansalkar. The ADCs, Major Rohit Raskotra, and squadron leader Saurabh Sharma escorting the two presidents as they move to the forecourt wherein we've got the president's bodyguard in position to give the salute to the supreme commander and then escort her to the saluting base on Kartavya Path. Desh ki senao ki sarvoch commander Bharat ki Rashtrapati Maneniya Shrimati Draupadi Murmu इस वर्ष के गणतंत्र दिवस के हमारे खास मेहमान फ्रांस के राष्ट्रपति श्री इमेनुअल मैक्रो के साथ दरबार हाल से फोर कोर्ट की ओर राष्ट्रपति भवन के प्रांगण की ओर प्रस्थान कर रही हैं राष्ट्रपति महोदया के ठीक पीछे हैं राष्ट्रपति के सैन्य सचिव मेजर जनरल रंजीत सिंह मनराल और राष्ट्रपति के उप सैन्य सचिव ग्रुप कैप्टन अभय फंसलकर साथ में अनुशासित ढंग से आगे बढ़ रहे हैं ए डी लीडर सौरभ शर्मा और ए मेजर रोहित रसगोत्रा प्रेसिडेंट बॉडीगार्ड द्वारा राष्ट्रपति श्रीमती द्रौपदी मुर्मू को राष्ट्रीय सैल्यूट दिया जाएगा नेशनल सैल्यूट के पश्चात राष्ट्रपति महोदया इस वर्ष के गणतंत्र दिवस के खास मेहमान के साथ ऐतिहासिक बग्गी में कर्तव्य पद की ओर प्रस्थान करेंगे The smartly turned out President's bodyguard in the forecourt of Rashtrapati Bhavan on their magnificent horses, the senior most regiment of the Indian Army that is 251 years old since its raising in 1773. A unique and distinct regiment as it carries out mounted ceremonial duties for the President, their officers and men, excellent horsemen, trained tankmen and paratroopers. And now you get to see the special presidential carriage that is making its appearance at the Republic Day Parade after 40 years. The horse-drawn buggy that has gold-plated rims and looks extremely comfortable was used by the British in the pre-independence era and later remained with the Rashtrapati Bhavan. It is used now for Republic Day functions in fact, it was used till 1984 and then discontinued. It, of course, has an interesting history as it became part of India's history post-independence based on the toss of a coin. Initially used by the president for ceremonial occasions, everyone really excited to see this unique buggy. इधर कर्तव्य पथ पर माननीय प्रधानमंत्री श्री नरेंद्र मोदी का आगमन हो रहा है राष्ट्रीय समर स्मारक पर जिन्होंने कृतज्ञ राष्ट्र की ओर से अमर शहीदों को श्रद्धा सुमन अर्पित किए माननीय प्रधानमंत्री महोदय विधिवत स्वागत करेंगे उपराष्ट्रपति महोदय का उनके आगमन पर और उसके पश्चात माननीय राष्ट्रपति श्रीमती द्रौपदी मुर्मू का आगमन होगा इस वर्ष के गणतंत्र दिवस के हमारे खास मेहमान फ्रांस के राष्ट्रपति श्री इमानुअल मैक्रों का माननीय प्रधानमंत्री श्री नरेंद्र मोदी का स्वागत रक्षा मंत्री श्री राजनाथ सिंह द्वारा
all eyes now on Prime Minister Modi, who will emerge from his car at saluting base for the first time today. At saluting base. And we're all waiting with bated breath to see his beautiful Bandini turban with a matching cravat. His choice of the turban and formal attire, quite a matter of interest for everyone who is here. Prime Minister Modi being received by the Raksha Mantri, Sri Rajnath Singh, the Chief of Defence Staff, the three chiefs of the armed forces. The Raksha Rajya Mantri, Sri Ajay Bhatt, and the Defence Secretary, Sri Giridhar Aramani. As he makes his way to the enclosures where the ministers from the cabinet, states and their families are all happy and excited to see him and greet him on the occasion of the Republic Day. Prime Minister Modi has always made it a point to personally greet as many people as possible who are on either side of Kartavya Path on this special day. And as was mentioned earlier, there are special invitees this year too to witness the parade invited on the Prime Minister's behest. Women workers from the electronic manufacturing industry, guests who have featured on the Prime Minister's weekly radio program, Monkey Bath, space and rocket scientists from ISRO, farmers from the agricultural sectors, and professionals from other fields, all seated in these special enclosures. You can see the finance minister and other dignitaries the External Affairs Minister, Mr. Jay Shankar, Mani Pradhan Mantri Shri Narendra Modi, Vishist Atiti Dirgame, Kendri Mantra Madal Kasadasyo, Varisht Adikario, Kendri Gray Mantri Lok Sabha Dyaksh, or Sabhi Vishist Atiti Ganoka Abhivadan Svikar Kartehue. प्रथम परिवार के सदस्य भी यहां पर 75वें गणतंत्र दिवस का हिस्सा बन रहे हैं और विशेष अनुराग उनके प्रति प्रदर्शित करते हुए माननीय प्रधानमंत्री श्री नरेंद्र मोदी एक बहुत ही खुशनुमा अवसर चिर स्मरणीय अविस्मरणीय 75वां गणतंत्र दिवस the Vice President of India, Sri Jagdeep Dhankar, and his wife, Srimati Sudesh Dhankar, have arrived here, and the Prime Minister rushing to greet here, and the Prime Minister rushing to greet them. Greetings being exchanged as they move forward and are acknowledging the greetings from. The other dignitaries who are present here, the three service chiefs, the CDS, we're all now waiting for the President of India and the President of France to arrive here. As the Vice President makes his way to the special enclosure, you can see the glimpses of uh, the stately procession with the president's bodyguard bringing the two presidents in state. To be a member of this elite regiment, the men have to be physically fit and mentally alert. The minimum height for each of the troopers is six feet. And it is the only regiment of the Indian Army that wears the bright red long coats with gold girdles and white breeches. A blue and gold ceremonial turban with a distinctive fan and Napoleon boots with spurs. Desh ki senao ki sarvoch commander Bharat ki rashtapati Mananiya Srimati Draupadi Murmu. Unke saath is varsh ke gantan divas ke khas mehman France ke rashtapati Shri Emmanuel Macron. आकर्षक बग्गी में रायसीना पहाड़ी से कर्तव्य पथ की ओर अग्रसर हो रहे हैं राष्ट्रपति महोदय का ये काफिला प्रेसिडेंट बॉडीगार्ड की यूनिट और यहाँ कर्तव्य पथ पर प्रतीक्षारत मान्य प्रधानमंत्री श्री नरेंद्र मोदी रक्षा मंत्री श्री राजनाथ सिंह रक्षा राज्य मंत्री श्री अजय भट्ट 
तीनों सेनाओं के प्रमुख चीफ ऑफ डिफेंस स्टाफ और उपस्थित जनसमूह उत्कंठा से सबकी निगाहें रायसीना पहाड़ी की ओर विशिष्ट आमंत्रित मेहमान तेरह हजार के आसपास देश के कोने कोने से पहुंचे हैं साथ ही वरिष्ठ अधिकारीगण विदेशी राजनयिक भी हमारे आज के इस राष्ट्रीय गौरव पर्व का हिस्सा बन रहे हैं देश की प्रगति में प्रत्यक्ष और परोक्ष रूप से योगदान देने वाले वो सभी लोग आज अपने आप को गौरवान्वित महसूस कर रहे हैं जो कर्तव्य पथ पर मौजूद हैं और जो नहीं भी मौजूद हैं वो इन दृश्यों से उसका आनंद ले रहे हैं members of the diplomatic corps representing their countries and the common men and women of india all gathered together to celebrate this fabulous ceremony the prime minister and other dignitaries waiting to receive the president of india and the president of france as they arrive down kartavya path खास मेहमान खास तौर पर पचहत्तरवें गणतंत्र दिवस की जो मुख्य थीम है जो मुख्य धारा है नारी शक्ति और इस बार की जो गणतंत्र दिवस की आकर्षक परेड है उसमें नारी शक्ति का अनोखा प्रदर्शन चाहे वो मैकेनाइज कॉलम Ladies and gentlemen, on the business of India, we have the Dr. Deepak Mohan and the Chief Guest is expected to be once again Vice President Dr. Deepak Mohan and President Macron will arrive at the Salutin base. He will be received by the Prime Minister. And then introduced to the other guests who are here before she makes her way to the saluting base and her special seat. We warmly welcome our honourable chief guests. President Macron and President Murmu using the traditional Indian greeting Namaste with folded hands, which has now become a global greeting.
the atmosphere warming up here as the mist and fog slowly lift to reveal the radiant faces, the joyous crowds that have assembled here. Prime Minister Modi greeting President Murmu and of course his friend, the President of France, Emmanuel Macron. A warm embrace and a handshake, an exchange of words as they set the tone for the celebration of their partnership. The president being introduced to the Raksha Mantri, the Rajya Raksha Mantri, the chief of defense staff and the three chiefs, General Anil Chauhan, General Manoj Pandey, Admiral Hari Kumar, Air Chief Marshal V. R. Chaudhary. President Macron making it a point to shake hands with each of our dignitary. As soon as the presidents and the prime minister reach their designated seats, as they climb up the short span of stairs, a 21-gun salute will be given by the ceremonial battery of 871 Field Regiment using the 105 millimeter Indian Field Gun. And as the thunderous sounds of the guns resonate across the entire Kartavya Path, heralding the start of the parade under the patronage of the Supreme Commander, the national flag will be unfurled and the national anthem will be played by the military bands positioned across below the national emblem, the lion capital of Sarnath. Everyone present here and those watching us at home will also stand in honor and respect of the tricolor unfurled on the 75th Republic Day. President's bodyguard now moving away from the saluting base and of course they will be back for the closing part of the ceremony once again to escort the President of India, their Supreme Commander, to her official residence, the Rashtrapati Bhavan. And now it's time for the parade to begin and of course there will be a beautiful 